Hey everyone, this is a follow-up video because I've been getting some feedback about that video I made uh, for terminating the network wire into the uh, keystone jack. And the complaint I'm getting is that my hand was in the way when I did the punching down. So, I'm going to give you an up-close side view of that process. And let me get the wires all laid down in the slots and we'll be right back. Okay, so I've got my wires all laid out onto the slots on the back of the jack where I'm going to terminate them. So let's get it set up so you can see it from the side. Don't want anybody to not be able to see. And then with my punch down tool and making sure I've got the cut side facing out. See how one side's a little bit longer than the other? That curved edge, that's the cut side. I want that facing outwards. Okay, I put it on top of the slot. so the, the Tool is actually designed to fit right over that slot. All right, so put it right up there. All right, this is a little clumsy because I'm doing it kind of sideways, but normally you do it right on. Like this one. In a perfect world, they should cut. I don't know if my, something's wrong with my tool or if I'm just not pushing hard enough. Maybe I got the impact setting too low, but what they should do is just fall off of there. If they don't, I just give them a little twist like that. Okay, if you do not have a punch tool, a lot of times when you buy these jacks, they come with a little tool in the kit. So this is not a punch down or impact tool. It's just a little tool they give you. It's a little piece of plastic. And you can use it to push in the cable. But it doesn't perforate it nor cut it. So you're still going to have to come back and cut it yourself. And I don't like this, you know, because I do this all the time. But, but if you just do this once in a while, you may not want to spend the $65 on, a, on one of these uh, impact tools. So after you've got them in there, you come back behind with a pair of snips or electrician scissors. So these are snips or electrician scissors. And you're going to have to cut as close as you can. You don't want any excess hanging out over the edges of your jack there because you don't want them to rub against anything and short out against something. So if you cut them really, really close, get it as close as you can. These electrician scissors are kind of well suited for this thing. Um, otherwise, just a really good sturdy pair of scissors might do the trick if you don't have something like that. All right, so you really don't want to have any kind of a lot of slack hanging off the edge. And then your kit or your, your jack should be part of a kit should come with these little dust covers. And somebody had said in one of the comments about they didn't like this type of connector because the um, because they said that the the cables kept falling out or pulling out. But if you use these little covers like that that I just put on there, you shouldn't have that problem. Okay, so I hope that clears up any confusion there was about me blocking that process with my hand in the video. That should have given you a nice, clear, high-definition vision of what that process looked like. Thanks so much for watching.